high heat wave stretching from coast to coast into this weekend. And even those places that are used to extreme heat have never seen it as hot as it is now for as long as it's been. And those making a getaway should prepare for air travel disruptions, not just from summer storms, but extreme heat precautions too. Daniel and Jacob of the University of North Dakota Aviation Department says the higher the temperatures, the less density in the air. The aerodynamics behind uh, lifts uh, for an aircraft, the wings to generate lift is that it's dependent on the density of the air. That means planes need less weight and longer runways for takeoff. Carriers may choose to carry less fuel or drop baggage or reduce passenger load. He says the safety of the ground crew is under consideration as well as they do the heavy lifting to service, fuel, load and unload planes. Extra safety brakes to keep workers hydrated and cool can also delay flight schedules. It's obviously going to affect the turnaround time for aircraft because these folks will have to go inside to a cooler place to you know, cool themselves, get some water, be hydrated. To beat the heat, try an early morning or late night flight when temperatures are cooler and comply with flight attendant requests to lower window shades and open air vents when a plane is parked at the gate to keep cabins cool. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa.